uh, Comrade Oramale, who is uh, a very sports, uh, good sports analyst and uh, a wonderful football player as well. Oramale, you are welcome to ABS Sports Splash. That's wonderful. Good morning, Danandra. Good to be Okay, you know, as we do every th Tuesday, we try as much as we can to give you some of the uh, sports stories, things happen in the world of football. And uh, starting this Tuesday morning, Sack Joe Spesiro hands Super Eagles over to Sondo Lise Amokachi, Vincent Enyama, and me, then see if Eagles will not qualify for World Cup. These were the exact words of ex Super Eagles keeper. Peter Side Ida. Uh, Peter Side Ida is uh, during the weekend. He says that uh, NFL should try as much as they can to uh, sack Joe Spesiro and over Super Eagles to former Ayas player Sondo Lise and former Everton uh, player Amokachi, Daniel Amokachi, and uh, the former Lille uh, goalkeeper. Vincent Enyama, who he will ascribe as one of the most successful goalkeepers in uh, Nigeria. Then including him, who is also a former keeper to the Super Eagles, and see if Nigeria will not qualify. Oramali, uh, these are the exact words of Peter Said Ida. Your take on this. I'm uh, uh, also going to say it's not just the uh, uh, words of uh, Peter Said Ida, it's also the sound bite of every well-meaning Nigerian who loves football, who loves sports, mm. you know, it is highly overdue. Mm. Our coach, you know, needs to be sacked now if we must qualify. Mm. I do not see any reason why our first two matches will be playing draw, a first draw for that matter. Mm. You know, it doesn't make sense. It can never make sense. If we don't sack him now, then we are jeopardizing our chances and opportunity to go to the World Cup, which we cannot afford to miss. Mm. We cannot afford. As a matter of fact, the Nigerian football nation, Nigeria is a football nation. We are football lovers. Football is one thing that brings the entire country together. We cannot afford not to be in the World Cup. Okay. And now, we cannot also afford to go in shakingly. Yeah. Yes. Because we have a formidable team. We have, a, we have our, our boys are, are firing from all, 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 all uh, points of their gun mm. in all the league around the world. So we don't have any excuse not to go gallantly into the World Cup. Okay. Now they're talking about giving Sunday Olise. Do you think this guy has had this thing with Nigeria before? They, uh, would you say he did well, or um, there are still a lot of issues surrounding him? I remember that during Sunday Ulysses' time, he had problem with Vicente Nyama, uh, where Vicent had to leave the uh, campground and left for good. Now, do you think Sunday Ulysses have the, uh, the, 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 the desire, um, credibility to handle this Super Eagles team? Now, for me, okay, the way we are going, everybody who is a Nigerian knows that we need to put in the best of our game at this point. Mm -hmm. Sondo Lise, whatever mistakes he had made in the past or whatever thing, whatever he achieved in the past, I'm sure if he's given the opportunity now, he will want to double it, want to make it 100% or even more. Mm -hmm. And now it's about the national, you know, interest. Mm -hmm. It's about giving in your all, okay? So I believe that if we take this now and give it to a Nigerian or Nigerians, I don't want to streamline to any particular person, okay? Well, let's look at all the things, all the people we have and see the best crop of coaches and managers that we can put assemble together now and hand this team over to them with one word, we must qualify. Mm. It is our country. We don't have any other country. We don't have any other place to run to. This is all that we have. If we are able to do that, we will see that we will be able to do that. We will be able to do that. We will be able If you have the confidence to hand this team over to Nigerians now, they will go beyond the limits to get results. Mm -hmm. So I'm not particular about if this is this Sunday Olisa, is it a Guavon, whoever it is at this point would want to go. But, but you extra must life. always have a back of mind that most of, most of the times um, our indigenous coaches <coughs> fails us when we need them most. You, you should always have that back of because the last um, I just made a comment. Uh, I just made a comment. Mm -hmm. 
if the kind of money we pay to... Is it, do you think it's all about money? Do, not, do, we, do we really need that <clears throat> money for we to excel? We need the money to achieve results. So where does the money come in? The money, is it that... Is it, are you going to give it to the players? Or are you going to give it to... No, no, you're going to... you, you give going it to, to the coach? The coach will now dress up and enter into the uh, field uh, of league. No, no, you're going to give it to the team. Mm. Both the players get their due. Mm. The coaches get their due. And then also invest in training, invest in, uh, uh, what's it called now, invest in uh, friendly matches because and preparation. Mm. Nigerians don't get to prepare. Mm. We only normally, normally do cra uh, you know, crash programs and, and all that. Five and brigade approach. Five brigade approach. Mm. So we need to invest a lot of money and energy in building this team to qualify. Mm. For the next for, for the World Cup coming. Okay, let's have our fingers crossed. Um, NFF is still crying out loud that they can't sack. Uh, they have to can oh. Just Pesiro now because of some of the uh, money they they don't have fund to sack him, because sacking him now you need to pay some certain amount of money. But we pray that God will hear our voice and uh, deliver us from the hand of um, He who will come to take away the joy. The joy of the nation. Of the nation. Okay, let's go further. Sadiq Umar is back to his scoring ways. After a long time out with injury, he is called for his club against Sevilla on Saturday. Uh, Sadiq Umar, he doesn't need introduction. This is a guy that has played very well. Gone, he's been to Roma, played, and he's back before he signed a very lucrative um, um, sign-on with uh, Reece Sosad. Reece Sosad. And um, uh, not too long when he signed, he had a a very long-term injury, injury yes. and just on Saturday, he's back strong and he's called for his club. And this also is going to be adding more to the headache of uh, <laughs> Jose Pesiro. <laughs> Although he was around in the, uh, the two games we played, yeah. Lesotho and Zimbabwe, where he tried his best in the game. Um, Sadiq Omar is back, so we, that's a kudos. That's a good one. A good one it's too. always good to come back after injuries. Yeah, exactly. Because um, injury is one of the big, biggest bane of every player. And when you have an ACL, that's actually tender, that's a very... A very huge one. A huge one. So we, are, we are grateful to God that he's able to come back and begin to play. And not just playing, yes. he's making a mark, exactly. scoring goals. Mm. We wish him more of that. Okay. Azizat Oshola of FC Barcelona and Chiamakan Nadoze makes the final female calf list. Uh, Aziz Ad has always been there. Uh, just that uh, the new intake there, Chidoze, uh, Chiamakan Nadoze, who, is, uh, who did very well in the female World Cup that happened in Australia and New Zealand. Now he's, they are at the, uh, they are, their names, they are, these are two Nigerians that are in the final list of the calf uh, female World Cup list. Now, CAF Award, I, be, I beg your pardon, yes, CAF Award. Award. Now, do you see Azida winning again, or do you see Chiamaka coasting home? Yeah, Chiamaka is, a, a, is just a new entrance into that league mm. of big players, you know, of, of award-winning players. And, <clears throat> and, you know, it's, it's her first entrance, her first attempt, her first appearance. So it's naturally going to be, you know, uh, Aziza to take it again, my own take. And then maybe if uh, Chiamaka continues, you know, in her, in her yeah, form. form, in her good form, great form, she might, you know, take it the next year. But this year, you think it's going to be as, as is that? But, 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 you feel well, some of the good goalkeeping that this lady did, saving a lot of penalties, about two or three penalties during the uh, female World Cup. I think that should, and then in the club side, he has been doing well, you know, standing very well for his club in the uh, French League where the female league, where she's doing well mm -hmm. as well. I think that should be a yardstick to as well, you know, give her the glory as well. That's the yardstick that brought her this close. Mm. Okay. So you don't think the, that, the same yardstick <laughs> could make her win the same? No, we, are uh, talking, we are talking about, the, you know, it, it, it's a big game out there, you know. <clears throat> the award-winning uh, uh, personalities. Mm. It's not just about a few, a few saves, you know, and a few you know, spectacular games. It's a holistic thing, you know. But it has been a consistent... I know. That's why I said she's form. a new entrance in this league mm. of award-winning players. Okay. It's give her one more year. If she's consistent, mm. then in she, another year... Then we can now give her the trophy. Okay. Well, let's see how it so goes. It, it won't be the case of Leicester, you know, okay. that, that came and... That came, came and uh, uh, after and that... Bamboozled everybody and took the league and, and, and disappeared. 
<laughs> and now they're in the second tier of uh, the Premier League. Yeah. Okay, we're still, we still on Sports Splash talking sports this morning. AC Milan coach Stefano uh, Piopoli have come out to defend Chukweze for his goal draft. Uh, uh, he says because of uh, injury. He came to AC Milan with injury, picked up a little bit, left, came down for... Um, um, Nations Cup Nations qualifier, qualifier yes. picked up another injury, and he's back again. He said that they should, he has gone nine games without scoring a goal. Uh, to me, I don't really think if AC Milan was the best destination for Chukweza. What do you think? It's not about the best destination, okay? Most times, uh, uh, yeah, you could use the word best destination, but it's not about the destination, it's about the, what he found on ground. If he's able to dovetail, if he's able to, to, to mix with the kind of game. And that's know, still what we're saying. Yeah. Because, um, that's why I said yes, you can yes. use the word destination. This yeah. guy is a guy that plays tactical football. Uh, Italian league is not a tactical, uh, uh, it's not a tactical uh, kind of uh, league. This is a league that be believes in physicality. Yes. That you must be physical you must be strong. and strong to run. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no, but you know, coming from Spanish league, you have to be a tactical player. And ever since then, he went to uh, AC Milan. And that's why he's he easily picked up that injury. Injuries, you know. Uh, because, uh, he, you know, tactical football and physical football are quite different. Different things. Where yes. you are trying to be tactful, you are trying to dribble, nobody has that time, you know, mm -hmm. to, to let you do all that. So I just hope that he finds his footing, you know, it's not good for a player. You know, when the team depends on you to do certain things yeah. and you're not able to, to do it, you know, it, it's, it's, and, and uh, once you lose form in a team, to, come back, to come back is a very, very, it's a very huge task. Yeah. It's a Herculean task. Exactly. You know, because there are and so many people. And playing games and as an attacking uh, um, football, footballer. Uh, attacker and you've not scored, it really brings down the confidence. That's right. Yes, That's it right. won't give you the the right aspect of um, psych to, to work harder, you know. And football don't have time to wait. And that's the thing. Once you are not doing that, somebody else... <laughs> somebody else will, will have will, to come in and do it. We have to come in, and that is it. Okay. I wonder if Tai will rule out... has been ruled out because of groin. Uh, you know, he picked up groin uh, during the last game of the Premiership where uh, Nottingham Forest played for Nottingham Forest and uh, he has a groin and this groin is going to take one month. We pray that we, this guy is going to be, still be part of the AFCON uh, team. And you know AFCON is coming up in January? Yes, yeah. January. Uh, well, let's see how he works, if he will still be part of the team. This guy is strong, he gives defenders a lot of trouble and um, now... You know, it's a very bad time for him, for to, him to, to, to have to that have injury. Such, uh, yeah. yeah, because we have a lot of boys firing from, like I said, from all angles, from all nozzles and all that in Nigeria mm -hmm. today. And once you shake a little bit from the team, there's somebody there to replace you. More than, more than 10 persons and, and, just and, for... And, and God help you if that person who replaces you stands out. Begin, begins to, to, to score goals or, or do spectacular things. things. I'm yeah. sorry for you. That is the end of Solomon Grundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Okay, uh, there's a question uh, uh, sports lovers have been asking. We want to look at how the disadvantages of the VAR overweighed its advantages. We're talking about VAR. Mm. Has it really helped the football system or the disadvantages is outweighing the advantages of football? Let's look at it in a GFA because of time. First of all, for every item in this world, mm. there's a disadvantage and there's an advantage. Mm. And I, I like the way you put the question, has the disadvantages outweighed the advantages? Mm. I would say no. The advantages are way higher than the disadvantages. It, there's always a margin of error in every system, in every mechanical system, in every mechanism. There's always an er a margin of error. And that margin of error is not equitable to the progress that we have had in the game of football since the uh, advent of, of VAR. Mm. Because I know that there are so many things that would have been, you know, an issue of controversy which the VAR had come to clear, okay? Like one, like the hand of God, Maradona. In those days, in those days. VAR would have picked it out easily mm. and that goal would have been removed or canceled mm. or disallowed. 
But you see, uh, uh, now the VAR can take a, a, a line and tell you if the ball has crossed into the like goal. Like what happened to Arsenal Newcastle. Yes, Ali. The ball was out. Finally, yes. they found out that the ball was out. Yes, Ali. But the goal still stands. Yeah, that's, those are the margin of error that we are talking about here. Mm. But inadvertently, the, the, the role that the VAR has played mm. in, you know, Increasing our, our football, uh, uh, bringing more of professionalism, professionalism to the yeah. to, to the to the game of football, okay. outweighs these little little errors that VAR, you know. Are there little said. errors or costly errors that have cost people? Pain? Every every error in football, especially when it has to do with a goal or not a goal, mm. it's very costly because football is about scoring goals, it's about making points, mm. and we, how, do you, how do you make these points? By scoring goals. Mm. So if any goal for any reason is disallowed when it's not supposed to be, mm. or allowed when it's not supposed to be, vice versa, it has a serious, a huge impact on the, on the game. Okay. So you, I, I'm not saying that the errors that are recorded uh, you know, it should be shoved Nobody, away, yeah, you, know, you know, with a wave of the hand. It doesn't matter. It matters. You're saying that VAR has, has been, really changed the concept. Exactly. And the, the way it, it, it has been, a lot of professionalism. That's been very impactful, impactful in the development of football, football so far. Okay. Irrespective, you know, of the little, little errors that go with it. And that's where you could, human beings come in. That's where the human... But most of the times, you see people, the VAR, they are all seated, seated and there. You wonder why this error. When somebody is close to the screen, watch it, and that's why it's a human. Four. That's why it's a human being. How can four, uh, four humans make the same error at the four, same time? How can four judges... <laughs> how can, how three can, judges. How can, how can three judges... judges. Make the same error, error. <laughs> in the law courts. Yeah? Okay, I rest my case. Since we are going to that aspect, I better rest my case immediately. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a human error that we are talking about. All right, it could right. be a, it could be a function of so many things. Yeah. Okay, guy, but change your future as an Afro. It's well. Yeah. Okay, what Sam is doing everything possible to get the signature of uh, Porto left back Sanusi Zaidu, and uh, you know that this young man is uh, a Nigerian playing for FC Porto. But now West Ham is seeking his signature uh, as a left fullback to come and uh, help the deficiency they are passing through in, uh, in, in the West Ham team. Mm -hmm. Now, Zaidu, Sainuzi Zaidu, he just came out from the Porto team B straight to mm -hmm. uh, the first team. And ever since then, he has been doing a good job there. So uh, what, what, what's your take on the, this young man? I see him going places, you know. My only challenge most of the time for our African footballers is that at the point when they begin to come to their peak, mm. it's also at the point where they begin to go down, you know. So many things. And most of the time, they should always look at, not just that every offer that comes up, you jump into because maybe your, your, your team, mm. that is what I mean, your, your management team, is like, man, we are going to make a lot, a lot of money. money yes. And you move into this play without a first hand information about the club where you're going to. You know, mm -hmm. if definitely you are going to be very useful to them, you're going to understand the style of their play. At the end, you end up losing there, losing here. You're not playing. You know, Thereby, a smaller team will now come for you, and that uh, is the uh, end of at it. At the end of it, or you go for loan. Yes. They'll, they'll sell you off on loan, and then, then your career begins to dwindle. To dwindle. So I, I think we should also be very, very, you know, very conversant with the, play, the, 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 the teams when they begin to come asking for their hand, you yeah. know, to play for them. They should make inquiries, search through the data. The data is there. It's everywhere in the internet. You can check up on the coach, his style, his kind of, you know, game. Because immediately, um, let, let's just have a, 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 an example. Obafemi left Inter Milan. When Arsenal was calling for him, mm. he would have very useful. He left Inter Milan went to Newcastle, did as if life yeah. was there. There was a light at the end of the tunnel. And from no, Newcastle... His light was here at the beginning. At the be he, 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 didn't, he didn't find out, you know, the end you of know, the tunnel. And that was it. He went to Seattle in the uh, U.S. And that uh, was the end of Solomon Grundy. Mm. We didn't see him anymore. That was it. So most of the time, they must understand this fact before they, uh, they, they take a leap. 
Okay, we are still on ABS Sports Plus. Uh, the last story we have for you today is uh, Alex Iwobi scores his first goal for his new club, Fulham FC. Yesterday, they played a 3 2 uh, against Wolves. They, they won Wolves. And uh, he opened the scoring for his new club. And that's a very good one, both for Nigerian team and uh, the new club where he is. Just that the problem we have with Iwobi is that whenever you need him most, he's not consistent. He's not a consistent player. It becomes an issue. I, I just don't know what happens to him. I mean, no. I don't know. I don't like the. I don't like See, to use the word lock. Because when we are talking that we don't have a creative midfielder, he, 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 he should be a creative. He should be the one. Yes, he should, yes. Step, he should, step, he should, should step, step into in the shoes of his big, 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 his uncle. His uncle. Yes. You know, I, this has become a very big issue. When you expect him most, you begin to look if Iwobi is in this game. You now have to refer back to the list, the team list to check. Mm -hmm. is, are you sure he will be? Are you sure he will be, be in this team? You know, so things like this. I just wish he picks up from here now and begin uh, to do, you know, step into that shoe that's left for him by yeah. his uncle. You know, he, because I'm, 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 I'm was just saying that part of the problem Super Eagles have now is that the midfield is down, mm. and since the midfield is down, there's going to be a lot of pressures on the on uh, the defense on the defense. And that has been affected. And nobody feeds the, 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 front, the, line, the front line to, to, to score goals. So that's the problem. So the, the, the strikers will always struggle to come back home, to defend, to uh, play the midfield before they'll be able to execute the, whatever they want. So this boils down that the, uh, the coach and the management team must look deep down to know the people that can wear, you know, that can play this. It doesn't matter who. Mm. Whether it's, we can get somebody from the uh, local home, leagues, local league, that like can hold that new field. When West Ham was there, Isaac Semitejo plays for Heartland. He was playing. Mm -hmm. He took Isaac Semitejo to the World Cup. So these are the facts that we must always understand. It doesn't matter who is who. You know, these are the things that uh, our coach must look into to have a blend of the the local league and the professionals. So there will be a very high level of uh, competition. I think that's what we need in our team. All right, this is where we'll be drawing the cutting clothes on the ABS Post Plus this Tuesday. Next week, Tuesday, we'll be here with more exciting and interesting stories happening in the world of football. My name is Lefoy Medana. Ramali, thank you for being part of this. Yes, yeah, it's been wonderful talking sports. Let's do it again. Bye for now.